Well hello everyone. Now I know it's been a while since I last seen you guys and last video I said I was going to make a cascade cycle heat pump. I actually did. It did not work very well because one of my expansion valves was broken but nonetheless I have been busy and I'm going to show you today what I've been working on. It's an air conditioner. I've actually made my own air conditioner and you gotta brace yourself for this one guys. It looks terrible and I think it probably is not very efficient but nonetheless I've made it and I'm now I'm gonna show you this creation that I've made in just a minute but I want to tell you a little bit about why I made this particular one now everybody knows that if you have a central air conditioning system the kind that has ductwork right then the second story of a house if it has two stories or three or you know what have you then the upper floors they never seem to get enough airflow. Now there are like you know booster fans and stuff like that you can put on but usually without them they never get enough air. So my parents actually have an upstairs bedroom okay but my father does not like the idea of window air conditioners. He's had one before he hates them. He says they're they're noisy, they're rattly, whatever. And I put a booster fan on the duct but he's not gonna like that either because he says that's way too much air blowing in his face. He doesn't like that. He hates it. So I made this contraption. and Believe you me, it's a contraption. This does work, but it does not look good at all. Okay, I apologize in advance for the shaking. I can't seem to get a good shot with the tripod. But anyhow, yeah, this is it. So you can see, this is a compressor, and I took this out of a PTAC. It's a package terminal air conditioner. This is the condenser. This is actually half of an evaporator, of an A-coil evaporator. On the bottom is the evaporator here. This one does have an expansion valve. And it's a little, actually no, it's very unconventional. All right, so there's a window adapter that I've made. And you see that it has two ducts. But right now this is not in cooling mode. This is working as a heat pump. So air comes in here. And it goes in there into the evaporator. And on this side, the air comes out of the evaporator here. And then that goes out into the window. So air goes in, goes through the evaporator, and then back outside. The condenser is hooked to the room. See that? That goes through that wall. And there's a vent on the other side. Now that takes an air from that vent, and it goes up this duct into the condenser. So this is a discharge line from the compressor. And it comes out here. Yeah, I need insulation. These are just blankets. Blankets aren't insulation. But it goes in here, and it goes into the wall there. And that wire is a thermostat wire. And drain pan. I made that from stainless steel. I don't know how thick that is. I think that's 28 gauge. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It does have a condensate drain and the old Harbor Freight condensate pump and that just goes out the window. So yes, this is a heat pump. This heats and it cools, but it does not have a reversing valve. So I don't know if you picked up on this, but in order to change between heating and cooling, you actually just reverse the ducts. It has flex ducts on it, but this isn't exactly how it works in air conditioning. But anyhow, we're gonna turn this thing on. Okay, real quick before we begin, this vent is the air that's coming out of the condenser in this con current configuration. Now, if it was in the uh, air conditioning, that would be the air coming out of the evaporator. Thermostat is right there. And this is the air return vent there, right through the wall there. So yeah, I should explain that the uh, air conditioner is actually just on the other side of that wall. That was a little room that we were just in. And this is the duct that my father does not like. I think he's actually using the vent as more of a blockade than anything else. But he does not like that vent because he swears that blows air on his face and he does not like that. So that's why he does not like the booster fan. All right, so we just started and I'm going to set up the thermometer on that vent. All right, it's been running for almost 10 minutes now and you can see the temperature of the air coming out of the vent. We're almost at 93 degrees. It's around uh, 32 Celsius or so. So, it's already come up to 67 degrees and I expect that number will keep going up. Now I should mention it's probably around 50 degrees outside, that's around 10 Celsius, so we're going to let it run some more. We're going to see how high we can get that temperature.
It looks like we're full here. Yeah, in hindsight, this wasn't the best design. This is the liquid line coming out of the condenser. It goes through the filter here and then comes back up. I probably should not have done that. I probably should have just had this go directly into the valve. But in any case, yeah, it's uh, it's not terribly loud. It's a little bit louder in the summer than it is, or sorry, it's a little bit louder in the summer running as an air conditioner than it is now running as a heat pump. But in any case, yeah, it does actually work. And we got service ports on the suction line and the discharge line. All right, so it's been running for about 14 minutes. You can see the temperature is coming up pretty well. Uh, we've gained two degrees in 14 minutes, so one degree every seven minutes is not too terrible, but uh, it's probably going to turn off pretty soon. So anyways, yeah, that's it. That's the homemade heat pump that I made, and that's it running for you. Now, I know this thing looks really terrible, but as you can see from the video, this crazy contraption actually does work. Now, I have made another one that I actually use in my bedroom. Maybe I'll show it. Maybe not. But anyways, yes, I am still serious about making the Cascade Cycle heat pump. And like I said earlier, I had an expansion valve that just totally did not work. I don't know if it was broken or what. Anyway, I was going to do a lot of work on it, but then the valve broke. I got busy with work, and then I got sick. I got sick like three times this year. So what I want to do is buy another valve and see if I can get that finished and then show you guys one of these things working. Uh, I really think that there's a lot of promise in it. Eh, maybe I'm wrong. But anyways, I think the end goal here is I want to try to make these air conditioners. Obviously, they're not going to look like this. They're going to be a lot more familiar, something that looks a lot more like uh, a portable air conditioner, but better because portable air conditioners are pretty terrible, actually. And I probably will have a video talking about this and all this HVAC kind of related stuff soon. So I think that's kind of the direction that I'm going to go, is just get into the HVAC stuff. So anyways, I will try to get better. I'm still not completely well, and hopefully I'll be able to see you guys again soon. Take care.